you want to buy a Sunfish sailboat. And I'm assuming you're not going to be putting down $3,500 to $4,000 for a brand new one because you're watching this video. So even if you find a really good deal, like maybe $395 for a used Sunfish sailboat with all the parts, it's going to have a lot of extra costs that will add on to that. So for me, I had to pay $70 bucks to get a U-Haul to take it home. Then you're almost certainly going to have to replace some of the line or maybe all of the line on it. I spent about $70 on some 5 16 line, some quarter inch line, some elastic kayak line for the dagger board. Um, you might need some replacement parts. I had to spend 80 bucks on the auto baler because I wanted to replace it so it would work. I could have paid 10 bucks for just a plug to just plug it up. I also had to pay 10 bucks for a drain plug. Um, some of the sail rings had broken, so I had to buy some sail rings. I got a pack of 30 for 18 bucks, but you can also buy them individually for two or three bucks each. Um, I did not yet buy a new sail. I will eventually have to, and it's going to be 125 to about 300 bucks for a new sail. Um, I was lucky in that all the parts came with mine, but if it's missing a dagger board, you're looking at 300 to 500 bucks for a new dagger board. If it's missing the rudder, you're looking at 350 to 600 for a new rudder. Um, and some of this depends on if you want it to be um, class legal for racing or just recreational on, on the cost variations there. Now, you're going to need some accessories. So if you want to take it on the road and take it to other places, you're going to need a trailer, which you're looking at $1,200 for a trailer, um, new. And um, I definitely recommend a beach dolly so that you can easily move it to the water and back from the water. Um, I purchased a deck cover. That's going to be, you know, $100 to $150 for a deck cover to cover it. That's semi-optional, but it keeps the sun off, keeps things protected a little more. The beach dolly is the big cost here. It's going to be about $400 to $600 for a beach dolly. I spent a little money on upgrades, so I spent about $100 on a ratchet block and the hardware required to install it. Um, I'm also going to be getting a collapsible paddle that will fit in the stowage compartment, so that's $25 right there. Um, and mine has some areas on the hull that have been repaired, and they may or may not be leaking. So if I have to repair those, that's not something you really want to pay somebody to do. You have to be familiar with fiberglass repair work and do it yourself because it takes a lot of time. The material is only going to be, you know, one to two hundred dollars if you have to do that. Um, but you really wouldn't want to pay somebody to do that. That's where you go and find a new hole. So these are what my costs are adding up to so far. You can see it's a lot more than the four hundred dollars I spent for the sailboat, but it's still less than going out and buying a brand new one.